Hey fellow pilots and welcome to the 15 minute gaming channel. My name is Tony and this is DCS World. Today in episode 2 of my continuing series, a new player guide by a new player, I'm going to show you how to set up your whole task for use within DCS. Bear in mind this is for my FA18 profile but for all the buttons on here, none of them are F-18 specific. They could go for any aircraft. And I've used it on the A-10, obviously added a few more in. I'm going to include the webcam so you can see what buttons I'm pressing. Now, on my HOTAS, my pinky switch, as it's called, is broken. I don't know why I can't get it to work. Um, however, it was a second-hand HOTAS, so maybe that's why. So, yeah, I use all one um, switch. I included the video so you can actually see what buttons I'm pressing because a lot of tutorials I've found didn't show you where to click or what to touch i'm gonna do all that for you so without further ado let's get straight into it we're here to discuss controls so we're gonna go up here at the little cog we're going to click on controls, and then here's all the controls. Let's go on this side where it says FA18 Sim. This is where you select what aircraft you're setting the controls up for. What is very handy about this, if you click on HOTAS, like that, press a button, it'll tell you if that is assigned to anything before you even modify it. So I instantly click that button there, which is joy button 4. And as you can see, that's my undesignate slash nose wheel steer switch. So it's really handy you've got that function. So if you're a bit confused of what button does, just press it and it'll tell you what you've got it set as. So I have a list of what I think are the important buttons. These are not FA18 specific. They could work for anything. The only one that is, is probably that undesignate nose wheel steer switch. Let's have a little look. First things up is axes. Very important, mainly because... You want to be able to fly your plane. So, what's very handy about this is, if I move backwards and forward on my stick, can you see the screen there? You can see just above the webcam, is rolling backwards and forward. So, it shows you, in that screen, what that is relating to. So, you can see there, X and Y. If I go down uh, throttle, or you might not be able to see because of the webcam, but yeah, that would go up and down as well. Rudder, so mine has a twisty function. So, obviously, with it being on that surface, it's a bit twisty. But, yeah, can you see that? Twist backwards and forwards. So, that's what I've got set up for the axis control. In axis control, the other thing, you might have a um, flight stick with... Um, some have, like, you can throttle left and right up. So, you can do that separately. And that's where the wheel brake is as well, if you wanted wheel brake. Um, it's in there. Right. Moving back to all... Two ways you can do this. You can either just search for the most important ones, like I've made a list of what I think the most important ones are, or you can just have a read through and see what you want to put on the controller. But before we do any of that, we're going to talk about modifiers. Now, you know when you do something on the computer and you hold shift down and then press, say, a, a but, like number three, and it's a pound sign or the at sign. You hold shift down and then it's the at sign. This is no different on here. This So what a modifier is, button you press, and it's like the shift key. So down here are modifiers. I have this button set up. So if I can get that, see that little button there just at the top of the screen. That is my modifier button. So whenever I press that, it then lets me have double use out of every single um, control. So I press that, I have secondary use. Most people have it set the pinky switch under there because it's quite easy because obviously your fingers are like that pinky switch in and on there your hands not always on the throttle because you might not even be using the throttle at that point but yeah that's why i've got mine set as that because it was the only button i really had spare i did think about trying some of that but that would just be awkward to like press that in and then do that i've got my left hand free so i might as well use it uh, all you do is come in click add set your whole task press the button you want it to be and then press ok and that will put it in there if you make a mistake that is joy button 30 in case you're wondering Joy button 6 is the pinky, so I just want to remove that. Clear OK, and that means it's gone. Easy as that. So, if I just want to see, as I said, if I want to just search for something, press a button, it's going to show me what that's done too. So, we've had a look at pitch, roll, rudders, and thrust. 
We're going to look first up at the cage uncage button. So I'm just going to type in cage in there. And then you can see the cage uncage button is joy number five. Joy number five is this little switch here. This little black one there. Can you see that? That is, so it's to do with uh, when you're firing missiles and it's handy for when you're doing carrier landings and stuff. So again, it's handy to have somewhere close by and it's got one use. It's for the cage and cage button. Remember, if I wanted to, I could press the modify button, then that and have it do something else as well if I wanted to. So yeah, that is my cage uncage button. What I do is I have got a list of all the important buttons. I'll put them in the description and then you can make sure you've got them. Um, gun trigger, the trigger button. Now the trigger button does have two settings. Let's move that so you can see it. All the way in is gun trigger. You can also depress it once if you want that to be something. So you can have once and then all the way in. So yeah, just remember that that is has actually got two uses. And remember to push it all the way in. <laughs> so the gun trigger also shoots missiles. Just bearing in mind, it doesn't drop bombs. So yeah, it will not drop bombs. Just remember that. Many times I've been doing a bomb and run and went, ah, it hasn't dropped anything. That's because it's supposed to press the other button. Right. So moving next, talking about guns and weapons, is weapon select. So you have four different kind of weapons. If we type in gun in there again, you can see you can select gun. And I have mine set as joy button 30. So if I get rid of gun, then go back. If I depress joy button 30, press up on the controller. Oops. Select Cortas, that is really annoying. Oh. Press up. You can see up, I've got selected AMRAM. So just hold the modifier in. To the right, I have the sparrow. To the left, I have the sidewinder. And down, I have the gun. So all I do is to press the button. Up for AMRAM. Down for gun. Right for sparrow left for side rinder. so that's where i have my miss uh, my weapons selected next up is throttle designator control now this is i can't even see it's very tight within it doesn't even come up this is to me one of i don't know why it's called this what would you think that would indicate throttle designator controller controlling your speed no You'd be wrong. It's nothing to do with that. This is to move. And what I do is I have mine set up. Uh, what's going to be? I need it back there. On this little hat switch here. So the one just beside the spinny thing. And that is joy button 20, 21, 22, and 23. What that allows you to do is if you've got the radar up, this allows you to move the little pointer across the radar so that you can designate a um, target. It also, if you do manual bombing, it's how you move the pointer around the hood so you can then dictate where you're going to manually bomb. I don't know why it's called throttle designated controller, but yeah, so basically I've up, down, right, left, and right, just on that controller there. The most important one of all that, though, is your designate, and that's called depress. And I have mine set up to that button there. So it's the one between the twenty thing and my modifier. Oh, where's that? Con where's that thing? So I've, yeah, that's why I have as my designator. So when I depress that, that will then select whatever in that zone. So if it's an airplane, it'll be where I've selected it using this to to find it. And then all I do, click that button and that button there, there, and then it will uh, designate it. And then again, click to undesignate. So if you you need to stop designating it, you can just press, I think it's S on the keyboard. If we look there. Yep, undesignate. Or oh, I can use that over there. It's up to me. S or that. Depends. And that undesignates the target as well. Right, next up is um, these buttons here on the controller. So, if we go back to HOTAS. And this is for speed brake, flaps, and gear. Now, first up, T1. If I press up, it puts my landing gear control. So, that's just that button there. T2. 
T1 it's marked on here, so it's the one first on the left. So up puts my landing gear up, down puts me landing gear down. Next up in the middle, up is for me flaps up, down is for me flaps down. Finally, on here, speed brake extend and retract. Just bearing in mind, uh, you've got to hold that up because uh, otherwise the speed brake will just go up a little bit. So just hold that up as you go. I know some people have them set as differently to me, but I just find that the easiest. So basically, landing gear, flaps, and speed brake. Um, just because you tend to do flaps and um, gears together. So it just means I can uh, put them down straight away with two flicks of the finger. And speed brake, just so it's a little bit further away, just so I know where it is if it's a quick touch. And I'm not stupid to put me gear down or anything like that. <clears throat> Next up is sensor control. Right, up, down, and center. Uh, what sensor control is, is basically it's where your display is. So it looks at different parts of your display, which we'll talk about later in the video. Uh, when we're talking about how to do guided bombs mainly, that's when I use it. So all I do is click right, and then it'll go straight to the right-hand screen. So that's just what that hat is there. So that hat basically, unmodified, is for sensor control. Modified, it's for uh, weapons. So to me, it's, it's kind of very similar to how I'm, uh, how I'm justifying in my little head. Next up, weapon release button. If I flick this up in here, press it. Weapon release button is for bombs. So that button there, which has got the covering on, that means when I press that button, I'll hold it until I need to drop my bombs and then let go of it. And that is all the buttons on there. That means I can fly, I can drop weapons, select weapons and stuff like that. Oh, one thing that I didn't cover, trim. So this one here is trim. So trim is to keep your, you know, your, your airplane level. Uh, you may have used it in flight simulator and stuff like that. So basically, we've got push to descend. So that's up, down to climb, left and right. So if you only have one bomb on your right wing, you'll find the aircraft will tip because it's obviously unbalanced now, which is why sometimes you might have to jettison all your uh, weapons after a mission. So yeah, that is on the trim there. And that is the controls. That'll get you flying. That's all you need. That's all I need to fly. Um, obviously, got a lot of keyboard controls and stuff like that, but that does fine for me. Um, I know some people have this set as zoom, or um, there's another switch down there set as zoom, so you don't have to take it. I tend to use the mouse for zoom because I'll just be looking around the cockpit. But yes, anyway. That is all the controls I have set up for my FA-18. I'll put a list of them in the description so you can follow along and have a look to see what the most important ones are. I'm going to type on that now, trim, because I'd miss trim off that list. So thank you very much, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Next episode will be mission editing. So we'll have a look into that mission editor. And I'll catch you all later. Goodbye.